Parliament because nine days ago the Supreme Court settled a contentious matter. A deputy speaker, as we know it, can vote while presiding and be counted as part of the quorum required for decision making. This has since turned into a major impediment for government business. NDC MPs have successfully blocked government's business on five separate occasions, including the approval of a 20 million loan facility. There's actually more in the following report. The House was considering an amendment to Ghana's criminal and other offenses bill when the issue of quorum came up. Is it, for me? it is very rich for him to suddenly, after considering motion 33, because within we just took a decision on motion 33, which he had no objection. That immediately after, he has a problem with the next motion. Yes. Mr. Speaker, I find it very rich. During the House attention, that when we, I, I'm just working in, that when 33 was taken, we equally didn't have the number. You said that, because you just said that you, you just took this. And Mr. Speaker, if that is the case, Unless it can be proven that after this one, member stepped out, that one has been stood down. That one, we didn't have the number to take that one too. So we are reversing. So, Mr. It. Speaker, I, I, I just want to draw your attention that both 33 and what you intend to do now do not have the numbers, the numbers to take that decision. Therefore, that decision that was purported to have been taken on 33 should be rescinded because the numbers were not there. Now that you are raising it, Unless you can prove their members stepped out, that means it was equally taken wrongly. And therefore, we need to rescind that decision. Pushing for German has been moved and seconded. I'm directing that only members of parliament who are here now are the ones whose name should appear in the vote of proceedings for today. Unless there's evidence that somebody has been in and gone out. I would not accept a situation where we come on Tuesday and we have a list of 200 people present when we never had the number to take it. So please ensure that members who have been in only, committee meeting is not plenary sitting. So whether the person wrote his name or not, if he's not in the chamber, please make sure he or her is marked absent. Majority Chief Whip Frank Anodon Pretels join use MPP MPs must show up for work to support parliamentary business. And then you know surprises are sprung on the on the floor, sometimes very worrying. But uh, going forward, obviously it's a concern that we have to deal with. If government business has to be prosecuted smoothly, then we have to find a way of dealing with that. Coupled with the fact that we also need to get our numbers in. Still in Parliament, minority spokesperson on energy, John Jinapo, is demanding the dissolution of government's economic management team, insisting it has failed to cushion Ghanaians in the wake of rising fuel prices. He is nowhere to be found. This is the time he has to demonstrate leadership. This is the time government must show that it cares for the people. All we hear government doing is whining and whining and whining. We believe that something must be done. That is why the minority and the Mines and Energy Committee in particular is calling on the Akufuado administration to sit up and take pragmatic steps towards ensuring that they cushion the ordinary Ghanaian failure. We call on President Akufuado to dissolve the economic management team because they have not lived up to expectation. Indeed, if I were the vice president, what I will be doing is to tender in my resignation as economic manage, head of the economic management team. Yeah. Deputy Majority Leader Alexander Fenyo Markin meanwhile says the finance minister Ken Ofoyata will address the House next week on challenges facing the economy. The Minister of Health has 10 questions. He has to come and tell us the progress made so far, the interventions by government, all these members are expected. And then, of course, Mr. Speaker, the finance minister has 12 questions. We know the challenging times we find ourselves. But we believe that he would make it and explain government financial policy. Now, Majority Chief Whip Frank Anodon Presses, MP for Domi Kobinyajwa Safo, is the cause of the current wars of the majority in Parliament. The majority have failed on three separate occasions to push through government's business in Parliament because they simply 
did not have the numbers. Speaking to Joy News, Frank Arnold Dompres said Adjuasafo must bow her head in shame for sabotaging government and holding it to ransom. Of a self-inflicted wound by a member of our side, which we think is most, most, most unfortunate. And in this case, you're referring to Adjuasafo? Yes, I cannot be diplomatic about it. If somebody decides to sabotage, if a person decides to sabotage government and the person care less the effect of what his or her action, it's difficult to control such a person. We're told blatantly, um, obviously, about her demands. Have they not been met? Well, I cannot confirm her demands. Uh, I've also heard it in person. Uh, so I'm unable to tell if it's been met or not. I have heard it in person. Officially, there's no be any official communication to me in leadership. Uh, maybe the executive will have to. Don't forget, she's also a minister, okay? Now, I, I mean, it, it, it's even difficult as a whip to even reach her. You've uh, called her? Yes, I'm telling you, that's a fact. So since it started, she's not picked your call? Well, a couple of times we've spoken, but now, as I, as I speak with you, it's difficult. I mean, the thing that she was in the leadership herself, just, you know, last two years before, the, the, she will understand the, your job and at least grant the same respect that, you know, all of you accorded her when she was a deputy majority leader. You're saying you're not getting that. You see, I don't want it to look like I'm zeroing in on her alone, especially in the face of, there's a bigger picture, and that is to get our members and get our business, government business done. It's just unfortunate. I entered parliament with her. She was fortunate. She was made a, a, a minister. A whole ministry was created for her. And then she was also made a deputy leader. What is she talking about? She has no basis for so ever to behave the way she's behaving. Okay? I have been very quiet and be very tolerant and be very diplomatic about these whole happenings. Relative adjustment. But the way it's going, she's, she's blackmailing the entire system. And it is most unfair. It is most, most unfair. Her behavior is most unfair. And I don't know what else she wants. <laughs> I don't know what else she wants. You have been made a minister. What well, again? Are you the only MPP member in this party? Are you the only person who has, who has credibility and competence to serve? Is she the only person? She must bow her head down in shame. I mean, she's, she's holding everybody to ransom. And it is totally unacceptable. <laughs>